Howdy, welcome to lesson number four in the module Practicing Sight Singing, part one. Did you hear about the restaurant that they built on the moon? It has great food, but unfortunately no atmosphere. What are you talking about? Okay, well let's try this one then. Did you hear about the guy that went to the doctor because he started being able to see into the future? The doctor said, well, how long have you been suffering from this condition? He said, since a week from next Monday. <laughs> okay. Let's continue sight singing. We're going to uh, look at our key signature, and we're in the treble clef still. The key signature, it has one sharp. That is the first sharp and the last sharp. And by now, you know that you find that last sharp, and you go up to the next note. That last sharp first and last sharp in this case, is on what? Every good bird does fly. It's on an F. It's an F sharp, so the key will be G. G comes after F every time. So we're in the key of G, so we know that our tonic note, our home note, our one note is going to be G. Every good. That's going to be number one. Let's look at our time signature. Four, four times still. Four beats per measure. Quarter note is equal to one beat. So let's look at our rhythms. This first rhythm is very simple. Nothing but quarter and half notes, right? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if I'm singing this half note, I'm going to sustain that. La, la, la. I'm not going to stop it. And that's very important when you're reading music, that you know that to, whether to cut it off or to go on. And I keep emphasizing that because... Uh, I found that it takes, sometimes you have to say something several times before it sinks in all the way in. So, let's look at this. Let's clap this rhythm together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now let's look at our scale degree numbers. We already determined this is going to be number one. Every good, that's a G, it's number one. We're skipping the space, which would be two, and it's since our odd numbers happen to be on a line right now, this is going to be an odd number. One, three. Coming back down to the space, that's two. That's what we skipped a while ago. One, three, two. We're going to skip uh, a bunch of spaces and go straight up to another line. This is one. That would be line three. This is five. We're going to repeat five and come all the way back down to one. Let's try singing it. Let's get our pitch. You may be thinking, well, I don't know what three sounds like in relation to one. After a while, it gets to be really easy for you. You'll be able to hear that interval. We call that a distance between two notes. We call that an interval. You'll be able to hear the interval from one to three. And some of you already can. Uh, but for now, if you can't figure it out and you're trying to sing some music, do it like this. You, you can go one, two, three. Almost everybody can go one, two, three, four, five. Right? It's not that hard. So go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three. Figure it out that way, and it's pretty easy. All right, let's try it again. One, three, two, five, five, one. Also, the more you sing along with me in sight singing, the more those intervals are going to get fixed into your head, and you're going to know them. Okay, so make sure you're doing it at home. All right, let's look at the next one. We are still in the key of G. One sharp is an F sharp. After an F comes a G. Four, four times, four beats per measure. Quarter note gets one beat. Now we've got a little more um, complicated rhythm. We're going to have uh, eighth notes and eighth notes. Quarter, quarter. A bunch of eighth notes again. Quarter rest and a quarter. So this is going to be, and I'm going to write it one time up here for you. One and two and three, four, one and two, and three, four. Let's clap that together. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. Don't forget to rest right here. All right, let's take the numbers off, and you just read the notes. We're going to clap the rhythms. Ready? One, and two, and three, four. One and two and three, four. Now we're going to look at our.
our scale degree numbers. We looked at our rhythm numbers, scale degree numbers now. Every good, we know that's a G. So that's one. The very next note after one is two. After two is three. See, we're not skipping anything. Line, space, line, space, line, line, up and down. One, two, three, two, one, and repeat the one. Now we're going to skip all the way up. Remember what that was? Five. One, three, five. Five, and we're coming straight down. All the way, we're just going to take a break with that rest. But if you notice, it's line, space, line, space, line. So five, four, three, two, rest, one. Let's try singing it. Here we go. One and two. I'm counting the, the rhythm numbers. <laughs> Sorry. Let's switch gears. Here we go. One, two, three, two, one, one, five, four, three, two, one. I don't um, edit out my mistakes because I make them, and musicians make them when we're practicing. So I want you to see that I make mistakes. So you don't be afraid to make mistakes either. That's how you get better. If, you, if you're afraid of making mistakes and don't try, you will not get better. You've got to just go ahead and try it. Uh, so let's try it again. One, two, three, two, one, one, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's move it on to the next one. We're staying in the key of G. Four, four time. We're going to look at our rhythms. Pretty, pretty e easy rhythm. All quarter notes at one quarter rest. It's just going to be real simple. One, two. Three, four. Let's clap it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're not going to do that twice. Too easy. All right. Let's look at our scale degree numbers. Every good, that's one. We're skipping up to the line, that's three. Coming down to the space, that's two. Now we're going to skip from this two on a space to the next space. We're going to skip this line. So this, since this is an even number, is this going to be even or odd? Even is correct. So this would be two. Count by even numbers. What's the next one? Four. It's really easy. Don't make, again, I've said this before, don't make it harder than it is. It's not hard. We're skipping here to here. It's one, three. Going down to the two, we're skipping up to four. Let's look at that again. One, three, two, four. Up to the next line is five. Rest, five, one. All right, let's sing it. One, three, two, four, five, five, one. Easy. One, three, two, four, five, five, one. And we'll do it one more time. One, three, two, four, five. Five, one. Again, the more times you sing these things, the, these intervals are going to get start getting fixed in your head, and it's going to pretty soon become fairly easy to side sing, and we can start tackling a little more difficult music. You're going to look at this one for me again. You're going to tell me the um, scale degree numbers, whatever they are. I'm going to give you those patterns to look at, and you tell me which one's correct, and then you are going to tell me the rhythm numbers and uh, which one is correct. So if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you next time.